Now, I'm just scratching right at the dock of the tail. That's always a special spot, it seems like. And uh, I'm just getting into where he's used to me walking around him with the holder. I remember when we were kids, we'd go to catch the horses. We'd have to put the holder behind our back so they didn't see it. Well, what's that tell you? They know. So when somebody gets a horse they can't catch, I tell them, well, just go out there in the pasture and brush him without a holder on. Just let him stand there and brush him and don't catch him. Every time you want to use him, just don't go out there and catch him. You know, make it to where he looks forward to you coming. See there, look here. He's like, wow. Now that'll be okay there. Okay. Then I retreat. We had a lady that called that said she couldn't look, get her horse on the trailer. And I said, well, why don't you do this? Load him on the trailer and get your brush and get him up in there and brush him, then unload him and then brush him and then load him back up and brush him and do that every day or so. And then next thing you know, he'll want to get on the trailer. Rather than fussing with him and getting all your friends to come and slap the ground with a bunch of sticks with strings on the end, make it to where that's a pleasant place up in that trailer. Well, she calls me in a day or two crying, told me I changed her life. Couldn't believe it, the horse loads up perfect. And I thought about that for a little bit. I said, you know, I'm glad to help folks, but doggone it, all I did is tell her to be nice to her horse. She thought I was a scientist or something. But you know what? He got feelings and he's got an opinion too. And if he don't want to get on the trailer, I don't blame him probably because in his life, all people have done is loaded him up and slammed the door shut and took off down the road. So why don't we just make it to where it's a pleasant experience and next thing you know, he'll load up there perfect. So things I see here with my little baby, he's, he's relaxed, you know. He's not worried about me. He's a little suspicious yet. When I touch him places, he's not used to being touched. But for the most part, my baby's not afraid of me. You know, he's soaking me up. And I, that's a good place to start. Relaxation and trust. If I just put this holder on him, wrestled him down like I'm bulldogging him, then I'm gonna lose his trust and he'll remember that the rest of his life. So, this baby's suspicious of me putting my arms around his neck and putting a holder on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush him, curry him a lot on his neck, okay? I'm gonna come down his mane, then I'm gonna reach over here like this. Cause we were just talking about it that probably what happened is when he was a baby, he got that little cut on his leg and he had to get doctored and we had to hold him during that doctoring process and he's just associated that all of the, that situation. So, so my goal is, is I'm gonna get him to where he's gonna offer me that neck and want it to be brushed. And chances are likely this baby has not ever been brushed and if he has, not much or at all. Um, here but to have this mother in here is just absolutely fantastic see how she's setting him down because i don't think if if we were out here by ourselves with just him i don't think things would be working this good so this works out okay so now i'm gonna come underneath so see when the energy when things pick up a little he he, he wants away nothing wrong with that but we got to resolve that and that's going to take a little time so go ahead and pause Nikki and we'll come back in just a few minutes so now if you'll see I'm brushing his neck on this side and he's liking it he's liking it now let's think about could we have done this 20 minutes ago I doubt it so anytime you think you're not making progress ask yourself could I have done this an hour ago 
Could I have done this 20 minutes ago? No. Nope. Now, one thing that I do when I evaluate a horse is tomorrow, little buddy, I don't want to start back up from scratch. I want him to remember what we did today. And if I come out here and I have to reconquer all of this from scratch, tells me he's he's got a little brain fog going on right there. And we don't like that. That is something we're not looking for. But I already know my little friend here is going to remember everything we did. This is good. I like this. Remember when we first started, he barely let me touch him. Because, see, he didn't know me. He, he's, he's seen me drive by on the golf cart, or he's seen me here or there. But him and I really never. The only experience he's had with me is I put him on the trailer here a couple weeks ago and took him somewhere to a pasture and unloaded him. But even then, I really worked hard at making that a pleasant experience for him. I didn't even put the rope on him. He just jumped up on there with his mom, and you know, we, we didn't make a rodeo out of it. We handled it in a way where it was okay. I think a lot of times horses don't want to load because when they're babies, they go breed the mare somewhere, and they just throw that baby up on the trailer with their mother without giving him any consideration. Well, next thing you know, you got a bunch of English horse trainers there slapping the ground with a bunch of sticks with strings on the end and hitting and banging and putting on butt ropes and doing everything they can to get that horse on the trailer. Well, I think he ought to walk up on there like nobody's business, no problem. They ought to back off the trailer. It shouldn't have to be negotiated off that trailer. So see, I'm, I'm brushing him under his neck. He doesn't want me reaching under his neck now. Okay. It's feeding time, so they see that going on here. That's okay. 